Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time zone you're in. This is the Wix online meeting number 56 into middle of February. We skipped last week, so this week we got a little bit more work to do. As always, those, this, these meetings are uh, being recorded for the people that are unable to make it here right now. And without further ado, I think we're only doing triage today. Um, I'm not feeling super well, and well, honestly, I don't know if we had much else to talk about until we start talking about bigger things like the future of Wix 310 and Wix 4.0 and stuff like that. So, Bob, you ready? I believe so. To the website. Look at this. Look at all these bugs. Fun stuff. So, all right. Untriage stuff down here. Wix 3x. Uh, didn't we talk about this? Oh, I hear what you're saying. Currently tasked, built v5, different assemblies. Da, 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 da. Using task. Uh, all right, so something needs 3.5 still. Something's yeah, wrong. So he basically, we said, yeah. Oh, wait, it's resolved. All right, so it's not resolved. All right. Still on triage. Um, <laughs> yeah, this this one, I don't know. Um, he pointed to a, a an old uh, MS build task, which is... The root problem, our tasks are, are loading um, MS build 2. Mm -hmm. And he pointed to another set of tasks that um, apparently work and also have a reference to that particular version. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I, I don't. I don't want to invest a lot of time in, like, you know, figuring out weird things. Because, I mean, the easy solution, of course, is that, you know, we could build two different versions of Wix tasks. And uh, apart from heat, I don't think it really matters a whole lot. I think it, we could probably do it all transparently because we also have the old, uh, the old set of targets. I think the the Wix that targets redirect correctly loads the real targets based on the version of MS Build. So does, does Visual Studio 2010 still ship with MS Build 3.5? Uh, no, Dev 10 is MS Build 4. I and, wonder sorry, if not Net 4. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder if we chop the tail here again um, to solve this bug and basically go. Next version of Wix requires. Um, that net four. four? Yeah. I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I mean, right right now, uh, .NET four five two is a recommended update for you know anything greater yeah, than XP. Right, right, so you know, and we still have a few people asking about you know Visual Studio 20, 2008 support on mainline. Someone just the other day asked for a mainline. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but we could just move everything up to. Four, call it good. I, I would vote we do that in 3.11, not 3.10. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with uh, doing a deprecation. Although... No, I, I think we, we should just socialize it. I mean, just put it out there. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, Yeah. sorry. That's right. That's what I was about to say. It's like, well, we can't really... There's no way to actually, you know, throw a deprecation warning. It's it's just, you know, like... like we I guess we could AI. detect that we're running on 2.0 and, and put out a message saying, hey, by the way... But then people are going to get warnings in all their builds, and that'll be annoying right, for right. where they're at. And yeah, so, yeah, I think we just need to. We'll we put this in 3.11, and we can it'll be a thing. Hey, look, we have something to do for 3.11, um, and just chop the tail on this. I'm pretty sure 4.0 has already chopped the tail on this. So, Wix 4.0, that is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and again, I'm 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 fine with it. I mean, it's hard to see where. Well, and this bug actually is kind of, well, this instance of the bug is kind of the opposite problem, which isn't, you know, that that 4.0 would be bad. It's like, I only want 4.0 because, you know, Server 2012 and, and Win8 are, don't come with 3x by default, so. Right. All right, I'm inclined to do it that way. Uh, all right. I'll I don't know how to, to track this thing to put it in 3.10, but or to put it in 3.11, because we don't have that yet, but 
I guess it's a 310 yeah. to make it a dock bug and 311 yeah, open a bug for a 311 to do the right thing. I will open it in 310, assign it to me. Okay. This is assigned to Bob. Oh, it seems to be doing the right thing, and obviously we have no control over engine as our implanted. Oh, good. Dial tasks well, seem to be keep reading. special since they are disabled but run still run at some point. This issues an update queue command, which according to the doc, if queue is specified, the updates are queued in the email image service. Updates are always scheduled prior three. Ah. So when they run, the computer's idle. So Q should be omitted if priority is less than three. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, and the idle thing seems odd. Um, I don't know how they're doing it now. They they had scheduled tasks that run, but I can't tell if they are running at in res, running ex, being run explicitly by a uh, the normal maintenance window. Um, because they're actually disabled by default, at least on Win 8. So it, it's it's interesting because it doesn't appear that if they're queued at, at level 3 that they actually run on idle. Uh, so it's bizarre. Uh, it's a bizarre thing. Um, All right. And, and the only thing is, is it's, you know, obviously I didn't write these... Uh, custom actions, so I'm not clear why we're running engine update. Uh, certainly, I'm not clear on why we're running engine update queue. So, there you go. So, what's the end result? We should take out queue on three. And I mean, your comment in this bug makes sense to me. The what else to do after that? I'm not so sure about. Uh, for what it's worth, me either. I don't, I don't end gen, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, 310 or 3X? Uh, I'm not, right. I'm not going to sign up for it in 310. If someone else wants to. Cool. Um, so 3X it is then, and if someone wants it in 310, they can speak now, or we'll just leave it there. Cool, cool. Works cool, for me. Cool. 3x it is then. Build incorrectly uses intermediate from last unknown good. This still hasn't come back to us. Uh, I suggest we close it. Yeah, this is going to be. Yeah. Apparently. I suspect the problem is is uh, trying to do everything inside Visual Studio. Yeah, and it just doesn't work out well. Yeah. But with batch build, because batch build, yeah, it's, it's this breaks the ability to batch build or multiple platforms and results as artifacts of concurrent business. Yeah, that or it's the problem of not changing x64 doesn't change it Visual Studio, which is another open bug. Right. But this only happens when inside Visual Studio. I'll take that as a yes. I don't know. <laughs> I saw this from the command line and went to fire and parameters from the command line. Well, um, Jacob, you want to take a stab at this? I mean, if you want to try to repro it, that's, I think, what we're missing. Test case, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I asked for the project. I, I'm, I mean, we know that this kind of thing works in general. All right, so if Jacob, if you're willing to repro it, I say let's give it to Jacob, open it there, and then he can put comments in it, and we can send it the right direction. Cool? He's volunteering. All right. Yeah, all right, cool. Onward. That would move that bug forward. Semantic versioning. This is my can of worms that you ended up writing. So. Yep, uh, sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. I It's it's on my, my backlog. So um, actually, give us the fire junk, because we've been talking about this internally. So cool. Yeah, I'll just give us a fire jump because yes, this is something we are trying to figure out where to do. Wixel files should be able to include other Wixel files. Interesting. It's convenient for localization process to have more than one Wixel file. One for standard BA, one for bundle, this one for product. Set, load whatever Wixel it finds. 
more general use easier is allow Loki to support merged view of multiple Wixel files. What a great bug. <sighs> the problem is, does Light yeah, do the same feature. thing then? Because um, Light, Light doesn't do treat, treat them like that. Um, true, and Light has the ability to let you throw and Wixel files on the command line, build. which is the way it's well because they're ordered too, and you can assign different looks to them because they have the culture selector in them and all kinds of other stuff. Right, right. And right. If, I don't really want to get into an include mechanism because then you get into a search mechanism too. If well, you want to do it, that's that's right fair. Thing. But then, short of not having the functionality at runtime, you end up needing to duplicate all of that at runtime. Well, so I'm not saying that the idea of having something in Wix standard BA to do it is a bad idea, or Locutal to do it, right? The ability to... Uh, a feature in Locutal to do something similar, right? Take a set of loc files and create a merge view of them. Okay. I, that's that's perfectly viable. I, I, I dismissed it, but it, it would work fine. And probably... Um, well, no, you're right, because at, at some point we'd have to... So part of the problem is we're treating this thing, the, the Wixel file, in two very different ways. Yes, we are. Runtime and build time. Yes, so they are very different. Maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe they shouldn't be um, is is a valid, valid lifestyle choice. Um, <laughs> Or you're right. We need to, you know, bring some of that same functionality we have at build and bring it down level, up level, do it at runtime. Yeah, it's a different world. Um, and unfortunately, oh god, that's part of the funkier things we do at build time. Oh yeah, it's complicated. That's why I'm not really thrilled about pre-processing, pre-processing these and include files and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well. Notice I didn't specifically say preprocessor because yes. don't want to do that either. No. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's interesting. Well, I'm I'm fine with opening this as a you know uh, as what you just said. Let's bring some of that that logic um, down to Loki. All right. So let's talk three uh, X or four X. Uh, four X. All right. That's yeah. That's getting that. Like I said, that's kind of poorly defined and wishy-washy uh, logic we have uh, to do all the look stuff, the look selection. So, so I'm all yeah. for it. It sounds like it's it's wishy-washy enough that we should have a whip that talks about the way we're bringing yeah. stuff in. And I'm I'm and for it. This can be the beginning of a whip for for it. And hey, look, that would also be a time to. Uh, Clarify it for 4.0. It's all right. So if I'm happy to take it at 4.0 if it shows up. If it, you know, if it gets to that time frame. Yeah, I'll assign it to myself in 4.0 for the moment. I don't yep. know that I'll actually do it. Yep, I think that's fine. But uh, I would look at it. Uh huh. Message exit macros are broken from the args conversion. Awesome. Awesome. This is very bad. Wait, message exit. What does message exit do? That's the calling a um, Windows installer MSI process message. Oh. Right. Is that the right one? I don't think this is the burn one. I say message exit. I know E2. console exit. I don't remember what the... I'm pretty sure message exit is the one sending MSI process messages. Yeah, it's WCU. It must be in the custom action one. We're just not getting formatted messages in any of our macro in any of our custom actions now, which of course is horrible. Well, but it's sorry, it's not specifically, it's not custom action logging in general, right? Or is no, it? no, just the message exit. It's, it's just the met. Okay, okay, it's scoped, but bad. <laughs> but bad. Sean, did you see this in three at all? Or, no, or, the ferriatic went into four. 
variatic thought, arcs went into four. Some of the variatic stuff went, went into three, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Named. Um, yeah. Sean, do you want to fix this, or do you want us to push it a different direction? I'm, I'm not... I'm not pushing you, I'm just asking, because you saw it most recently. Cool. Let's, let's assign it to Heath and see what happens. There we go. Well, it'll show up on our radar. 3.9, failed to load manage BA on Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1. Oh, this. Yeah, we should take this one. Yeah, what the hell happened here? I, I don't understand. So this function can return E not impulse sometimes? Is that essentially what it comes down to? I assume that's documented somewhere and we just missed it. Or maybe it was a change in the future. <sighs> mm, quiet, I'm on the front. Uh, before uh, that this function isn't implemented. Lovely. But it's not, it's just the four the four, uh, oh. four version of MS Core EE, not actual 4.0, right? Because 2008 R2 is Win 7. They're oh, they up. probably deprecated this. Is that that's what happened? They deprecated it. Probably we're using the old deprecated way and things like that. That's probably what caught us. We're using the deprecated way that works on four and two, and they finally deprecated it in this version of 4, and we caught it. I'm like, that's my guess. Oh, it's a new function that's not implemented. All right, whatever. And go look at the code. So, yeah, we should fix this. Good, because it's already fixed. Sean, yes, I saw that. I saw that. Request and yeah. But and it's I'll not just... in yet. But, so now, what do we do? With 3.9 hosed on managed... BAs are hosed on Wix 3.9 on 2008 R2 SP1. Oh, um, wow, that seems weird that we wouldn't have heard of it. I think we just did. Oh, oh, only if your MBA is targeted towards 2.0. I see. Well, in that as long as you say you require four, we're going to prompt you to install, presumably, a version of fours in your chain. <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's say whichever way it goes. Are we fixing this in three nine? Do a three nine R three. Right. I, I would say R three, yes. Yeah, we've already already done R three or R two, so Oh, I guess the next version could be three point nine D two. Ooh. <laughs> My son would be thrilled. Um yes. excellent. You're raising him right. Um I'm going to say no until we actually hear a bigger complaint. Okay. Um I'm inclined to say move to three ten and push three ten faster maybe. Well, it's in 3.10, so but it's, I mean, it's available. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe we push 3.10 a little bit faster. Uh, 3.10 is time-boxed, so... I guess we're that chasing kind of, Visual Studio however long it takes them to finish, huh? We we can't we can't finish before them. We can finish after them, but we don't want to. Yeah. But we can't go much before. Do we have a feel? Like, I haven't been keeping track of the 2015 news. Do we have... Are they say, still saying this year, end of this year? <laughs> it's still <laughs> Visual Studio 2015, so I hope it's this year. Uh, but they haven't said anything. Okay. Not that I know of. <laughs> um, and I've been looking. The, they, they did a CTP. Yes, that's right. The CTP came up, but that doesn't tell you. Jam. That's not a yeah. beta even, so we don't know. Right. <sighs> All right. Well, and they don't use words like beta anymore. It's a preview. All right. Well, let's 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 push this to 3.10 because that's where the fix is going. Yeah. 
we'll take it. So it, let's know, give it to Sean so he can get credit for the the bug fix, and we'll. Yep. We'll, we're taking it, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. If it if it comes up, I mean, we can we could absolutely look at doing in you know in R three, or we can say, look, it's fixed in three ten. Go grab it there. Yeah. Yeah. Someone needs more than ten web addresses. Wow. Is that um why is why is that coded that way? Asking as I sit here and could just, you know. Cause it can be. Well, normally we have a IS IS six may have had the issue. I mean the answer is gonna be IS six if anything. Although it appears to have been carried forward to IS7. Well, that's because that code was ported straight over and written. It wasn't. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. There's no thought process applied to that transformation. Well, that's that's depressing. Okay, it's just a fixed array. Yeah. I got so used to seeing like XML config and stuff. Ten web addresses is enough for any website in the world. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's not even a power two, man. Uh, whatever. So, uh, uh, I think we respond to this saying very likely it can be lifted and put it in three X. Okay. Right. I mean, it's not getting fixed in three nine. No. If someone wants to fix it, they can fix it in three ten. That works for me. It may, yeah, Phil. It may be a limitation IS six, but I doubt it's a limitation IS seven. It's probably working uh, somewhere. Um, I'll I'll comment that it could be addressed in uh, IS seven. That's a long time ago. Even, even the XP stuff was was a licensing thing, not an actual um, technical limitation. Someone is completely Explaining that not .NET 4.5.1 does not have these predefined package IDs, license URL things. Yes, um, this is a mix. It's a duplicate of the yes. bug I have in 3.10 right. to fix the EULAs. Good, that's what I thought. Um, Done. Not, not technically a duplicate, but there's nothing we can do to fix it. So. Well, we could put URLs in there, but they won't be right. Well. I, I would not call that a fix. I would well, call that a hack. I would call that a dupe because the real issue is that thing over there. V6 package install permachine always set as no impersonate. Yeah, permachine and no impersonate kind of go together. Right. Last there are cases. Yeah. There are cases that will this will prevent V6 to install. That In I don't get. Is enabled. Is enabled. This will not propagate the rights accordingly. Will fail the installation. That's not right. No, because I know this works. We had a permachine v6 that was working. Yes. So, uh, no, they need to go provide more information than that. I don't believe them based on those comments. If UAC is enabled, no, because I run all my stuff UAC enabled. I could, if they said if UAC is disabled, then that's certainly a case I may have never tested, but enabled I know has been tested. No, that doesn't sound right at all. So what do we do with that bug? I don't know what we do. Uh, I'm resolving it. More info. Yeah. With the not, comment block that we not just said. expectation. Yeah. No, not what we've seen in the... What scenario is blocked? <sighs> yeah. Need more detail about the failure. Yeah. Yep. Antivirus interferes with ICE validation. Not a lot we can do about that. No. Um, do you happen to recall off the top of your head whether um, Wix temp is actually obeyed for validation? Like the package that we output for validation is I don't know correctly. off the top of my head. It, it should be. But, okay. But that's not to say that the one installer is not going to do other things that get blocked. So. No, that's a good point. 
So, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm not exactly sure what they want us to do here. I know. <laughs> Usually there's, you know, at least a request for a miracle. If I understand correctly, I could create a folder and point the Wix temp variable to that to disable scanning on that folder instead of doing it on my temp folder. So do that. If that yeah. doesn't work, then we could talk about it. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. We need more details about what's getting... <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna res I want to resolve this as support and I just say try the try the folder yeah. idea. Right, and if it really. doesn't work... Talk to us on Wix users or something. Yeah, John, we need we need to support we need to support the the actual official uh, ICES. We don't have to support them in the build. If 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 we can replace the functionality, then we can keep the checks running in the build and say, okay, you need to go, you know, pass logo certification or whatever they do. Then we can say we have a tool to do that. But yeah, it, the problem is we run them by default, so you know it's broken in all kinds of scenarios, yeah, well, not just antivirus. Antivirus continuous integration. I think what he's talking about is the icebreaker project, which. Yeah. Yeah, that. But I mean, it doesn't. No matter what, we we still have to support running the ices. Um, but. Yes, I would be very much in favor of replacing them with something that, you know, works. Yeah, incorrect behavior when doing this, that. And it's entirely possible that this happens. Repository of shell. Can this please send a pull request? I think we just got a diff and a bug, which I don't care for. We did. Um, I'd like to understand the problem a little bit better. I just... You long, you I long, you long, you long, you long, you long. I think it's all you longs. It's basically well, using you longs everywhere. Except there's there's mostly just additions. Right. Oh, and it's not supporting disk IDs. Yeah, okay. Uh, I could... Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to see this in a diff, better diff than that. We should... I guess we can keep the bug, but tell them to send a pull request. Um, sure. Oh, no, he doesn't have an assignment agreement, probably, but he needs to... We'll get to that, too. Actually, we should send a send to the development page. That's a good point. Because that talks about sending a pull request. Mm, okay. Remains the problem of the placement of calves into directories that have names matching the labels of volumes of media. Yeah, multimedia is really a pain in the butt, but yep. All right. Well, I've never heard of that before. Uh, yes. Didn't you live that in Flight Sim? No. Binding the product version to an assembly using instance transforms with upgrade code in my cycle. When I run, oh yeah, that's not going to work. Instance transforms are generated before the bind variables are are set. Yep, that doesn't surprise me at all. What? Instance transforms are done in the linker. Um, are generated during the linker, and so I could see a bind version getting replicated, but not in places that get resolved later. Sorry, I guess I'm, I'm not clear how that causes a runtime error. Oh, I'm sure that the transforms are all wrong. The version is wrong. a way that we can detect? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm, I know almost nothing about instance transforms other than that they seem really odd. Um, they are odd. I think so what's I happening guess, is that we're providing information to an instance transform that still has the bind syntax in it instead of the actual version number resolved to an assembly. So, sorry, they're using a bind variable to refer to an assembly version. That gets hand handled during bind time, of course. Instance transforms, their data gets generated during link time. So 
so link during link time, the instance transform would get the bind variable. And if it's in a place that, like a sub storage, that doesn't get the binder variables replaced on it, then it could create a transform, and that has it would create a transform against the MSI that says I target the MSI with version bang bind da 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 <laughs> bang pair and bind da 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 and be like oh well that's not at all the right thing at all right and so then it's busted. So any if you go look at instance transform code, I've seen it. <laughs> you know you can be like oh I can see how a bug like this might slip in there because instance transforms are done at link time, not bind time, which is always kind of an interesting thing. I wonder if they moved in 4. I remember thinking, at this, this is fairly recent, so it makes me think, we're fairly fresh in my memory, so it makes me think that there's a bug in, that it was done differently in 4. But maybe not. Anyway, it doesn't surprise me that this is a bug. Uh, okay. That there would be a bug in here. So, yeah, we can take it in 3x. Uh, okay. I will not be volunteering to fix that bug. Me either. I don't care about instance transforms at this point. But I know some people still try to use them, and I think it's insane given the solution to the problem. But but whatever. But yeah, I believe that could be a problem. I certainly do believe that could be a problem. And if they have a repro, then they could go debug it and find a fix for it, probably. Anyway, I think that's all of them, right? Right. Then we have that bug, which I also believe is a bug. Incorrect media template. It's not a feature, is it? Uh, okay. It's funny. Someone actually called something a feature that I'm actually calling a bug. How yeah, that happen? that's a bug. I'll change it's, that. Yeah, it's a bug. It's like, that's not the way it's supposed to work. All right. Cool. We've been at this for a half hour. Longer day. I guess that's what happens when we skip. We get bugs backlog backed up stuff like that. So, I recently told some somebody asked me how many bugs were in Wix and I had to go look and I was like, how many bugs are in Wix that are open or whatever and I was like, uh, all open. It was like 400 and something. 470 now. Oh, 631. Sorry. 600. 600 or something. And someone was like, wow, that's not many at all. And I was like, yay, that's cool. <laughs> Given how many, you know, how long the project's been around and how much code there is. Where are they? Huh? There's only 242 in 3x. Are there a bunch of 4o open bugs? I have all 3x open. The 3x open is 242. 3x. I show 3x open. 3x open is 500. Bugs or bugs and features? Oh, sorry, bugs and features. No. Oh, okay. Point. No, you're right. You're right. I would have. You're right. I would have given them bugs and features. That's true. Anyway, they were impressed that it didn't sound like that big of a number. So, I'm like, yeah, all right. So, and some of them are really old bugs. They're like, yeah, whatever. So, all right. Anything else people want to talk about? Stuff's going on? Um, again, I think we'll be off next week and on again, so we'll have another big backlog of bugs coming up. Um, hopefully, I will not be sick and I'll get my stuff organized a bit more so we can talk about 3.0 and we need to talk about 4.0 since there are still some things coming in the 4.0 but we need to talk about and be deliberate about what else we want in there if other and I'm, I'm okay if we skip talking about 3.0 sorry 3.10 um, we can talk about 3.10 and when that will be done although as we discussed today it probably is a short conversation so basically be yeah whenever Visual Studio decides to tell us when they're shipping I guess we'll ship then um well, no. I mean, th th there's certainly stuff we can talk about. Um, again, the 310 is the release that I would really like us to just finish and stick on a shelf until they're they're ready to ship. You know, there's a lot to be said for that. There, there's a lot to be said for that. Um, I, I don't, you know, the, the typical problem in a project where you know time, uh, available time is filled by you know random work. Um, I'd really like us to avoid doing that. Right. Um, Sounds fine by me. We still yeah. have too many 310 bugs open, I expect, but we can talk about that, too. Well, they're coming down. Yep. So, all right. So, everybody else is being quiet. Bob and I are usually doing our filler stuff of things that we should think about next time while people sit around <laughs> twirling their thumbs thinking about stuff they might want to ask. But since nobody's typing, uh, we'll move on. Um, there's a backlog of 4.0 work items again. 
uh, need to get to, I know. Um, so I, I just just haven't been above it. Yeah, <laughs> looking Speaking at the, of. Yeah, so Jacob has that big pull request for the unit testing and stuff like that. And it's, you know, there are some comments that were made and it's just, yeah. So anyway, the big ones take bigger blocks of time and I just haven't had that big block of time available. Smaller pull requests, I'm able to pull some of them in. Uh, Sorry, anyway. I've been taking the small ones when, uh, when uh, I think the past couple pull requests Sean has submitted have been I basically identical between three and four. So, yeah, I think that's fine if you take them both at the same time. Then there's no question of whether it's in three or four. It's yes, it's yeah, both. exactly. Um, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, experience on interp comment. I'm confused on. Okay. Maybe we should let Jacob and Sean have it out about whatever their comments works. I think Sean's the only one that's really commented on Jacob's stuff. Um. <laughs> yeah. You, you, apparently, Sean, you and I have similar schedules when it comes to working on Wix. Oh, <laughs> you guys, what, a pull request and submitted within minutes or something? Basically. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I wish I could say I was there. I tell you what, people, having a second kid will really mess with your free time. Uh, um, <laughs> but it's getting better. Three, uh, Eight weeks is so much better than seven weeks. It's a different little animal. Um, and three months, four months is better than, than the first three months. That first, the fourth trimester is real. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Just keep them in there for another 12 months or another three months. Make it 12 and call it good. I, I don't um, think it works that way. It doesn't, but you might as well, dude. And I tell you what. Um, so I think that's all we got this time around. Um, so again, we're off next week, so we're only going to do two this month. Um, but that's all right. Short month anyway. It's a short month anyway, you know. So it's, it happens when I end up going on two business trips, which is very unusual back to back. But work is work is work. Uh, so it's been good work. It's been fun stuff. So anyway, uh, I think we'll call that. If Jacob doesn't have anything else, and we will be back in two weeks. We'll be basically be back in March. And really need to start. I mean, so in March. So I guess here's the thing. Next week, start thinking about March being uh, 3.10, getting rid of all those bugs, and 4.0 starting to become like we really need to start thinking how much more are we doing in 4.0. If we want it this year, we need to stop planning to do big changes and things like that. Or talk about the big changes we want to do and make decisions about what we're doing. Them. So you know, pull requests that are out now, we'll get in. Playing as a variable to standard PA. Okay, I don't care. I mean, if it makes sense. We should discuss on Wix devs. I mean, makes sense. Oh, on Wix users? I don't know. Yeah, laying as a Wix standard Laying as a stand thing that Wix standard PA would understand, so it seems reasonable that I could set it. Yeah, right. Oh, so, that's I was going to say. Otherwise, it's going to be identical to whatever the built-in variable is for uh, for user language. Yeah, but I mean, this is if you if you pass lang as a switch, okay. Well, and it could if you pass it as a switch, or it tells you which one it's set to the operating system, right? Oh, your yeah, yeah, name yeah. is whatever. Yeah. By default, it would be the same, but. Yeah, or and the command line would override it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we should talk about the way to have that happen. Yeah, fine by me. Um, simple enough. If someone wants to do it. Just use a line in the Wixel. That's another way. No, no, that doesn't get you a variable. Or I guess it could get you a variable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Interesting. Yeah, anyway. All right. Uh, if we don't have anything else besides design on a little mini feature, which I'm fine if people want to continue talking about that, and we'll go from that. So on that note, 45-minute meeting-ish. Eh, 40-minute meeting. So we started five minutes late, double-checking the recording, which hopefully, by the way, I think we have debugged the problem with recording, so hopefully 56 will be up there after we lost 54 and 55 to you know, machine glitch to recording glitch configuration problems. Um, but anyway, that'll be nice to have uploaded. Hopefully I'll get that done today. And uh, we'll be back in two weeks and kick it all off again. Until then, you guys have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>